We are under a tornado watch in West Alabama counties until 7 p.m. and we may see this tornado watch extend over the I-65 corridor in the hours ahead. Thunderstorms right now are just up against that Alabama and Mississippi border. We'll zoom in right now and see some of the thunderstorms that have moved through French camp are now being extended as severe thunderstorm warnings, but they are headed for our West Alabama County. So get ready areas of Aliceville, Carrollton, Reform, Elrod. This particular tornado warning notice it's pointing to it uh, just to the west West of Geiger, it may be headed towards the north northeast and could potentially move into areas of our West Alabama counties in the next hour or so. And so we're still looking at that severe threat in central Alabama with likely seeing widespread storms in areas like Tuscaloosa County into uh, Pickens County, Lamar County, Fayette County too, and even into Choctaw counties to our south and west into green. Damaging winds, tornadoes and large hail, those are the threats that we're looking at. Highest threat would be that flooding threat as we look into the future we do still see a large quantity of rain spilling out of the atmosphere in between the hours of 6 p.m. through at least 10 p.m. west of I-65. So that could mean some serious flooding issues in those tributaries. Notice four and a half inches potentially Hamilton, also some isolated heavier amounts. But I do think along that I-22 corridor is where we're going to see some of those stronger thunderstorms just out the gate. But still, we'll be watching for isolated supercell development on the on the uh, outer fringes. Wind gusts. Look at these wind gusts. 30 mile per hour wind gusts right now in Tuscaloosa, Demopolis, and all of this energy is feeding into the atmosphere and it will start to change things. That wind advisory extends until 7 p.m. tonight.